So me and boat hitchhiker Adele were on our way to Dakar, Senegal. But first we had to get up the Savicente Canal. And then, once around, we should be able to sail straight east. Of course, there was more wind than predicted. And right in friggin' face. So we motor sailed, tacking back and forth and so on. And so forth. And go on. To get up and around the north end of Savicente Island. But the other weather surprise was the visibility. Man, I'd never seen anything so clear. As if the dusty windows to the world had been squeegee cleaned by window washers. Me and Galapagos just could not hold a heading to steer north of the next island, San Nicolau, even with the friggin' engine on. As we got closer, I had a tack, and tack again, and on the fifth tack, I decided to let Galapan take over. The sun had set and the moon was rising, and I needed some sleep. I'd see where we'd end up when I'd wake up. It was a good move. After an hour or so, I tacked back east, and it looked like we would clear the island and the rocks offshore. And then in the evening, there were the most beautiful moonlit little fluffy clouds. We had almost cleared the island, but still motor sailing. And well, well, she got the sickness, you know. She did well, ate, and threw it up all overboard. And you know, seasickness, it knocks you out. She slept through the magnificent morning beauty, unfortunately. Once clear of the island, the wind picked up and we finally sailed. We had a better wind angle and picked up a little speed, but not really that much. the archipelago there is not much shipping traffic in these waters except for this big lady it's part of the Cape Verde ferry fleet we saw it on the AIS and as you can see we could see it for miles often sit here for hours watching the slow progress on my plotter. Then I'll go up on deck and check the sails and wind angle, make a little adjustment and absorb the elements.
And then we saw one of the most spectacular moonrises ever. And that white light next to it. What, what was that? We were also close to Boavista Island. And again, I had a tack to steer clear of those rocks. Now it looks like we can head straight to Dakar. The wind had pleasantly increased and even better, the wind angle was slowly getting better. Well, it's still a bit slow, but fast enough for this fellow not to be able to land on the mast. Now we're getting some oomph from the wind. Ha, look at Galapagos. Gold. evening the wind usually drops. Adele asked me why. I told her because it usually does. And then, wow, we were gifted with another spectacular sight. Probably the clearest sunset I've ever seen. And there is not one cloud to be seen. It was the clearest, clearest skies ever. What a gift. And it was truly a pleasure to share it with someone, even though she puked again. But I believe she's enjoying her moment here with me galloping this. One thing I had to say about Adele, she's cool. She's a good, good sailing partner. She's fun to talk to, doesn't give me a hard time. Real fun to have aboard. And okay, so it's cool to have hitchhikers. Sometimes I have my reservations about hitchhikers, but something felt cool with Adele.
Hey, it was great to have you aboard on this voyage. If you enjoyed your trip, leave a like and subscribe. You'll help us navigate better. We promise you a good time every Wednesday. So welcome aboard, man. <laughs>